Daily Mass Readings and Reflection June 9, 2023 Feast Day of Saint Ephraim, Deacon and Doctor First Reading Tobit Chapter 11, Verses 5-17 to Anna sat watching the road by which her son was to come. When she saw him coming, she exclaimed to his father, Tobit, your son is coming, and the man who traveled with him. Raphael said to Tobiah before he reached his father, I am certain that his eyes will be opened. Smear the fish gall on them. This medicine will make the cataract shrink and peel off from his eyes, then your father will again be able to see the light of day. Tobit got up and stumbled out through the courtyard gate. Tobiah went up to him with the fish gall in his hand, and holding him firmly, blew into his eyes. Courage, father, he said. Next he smeared the medicine on his eyes, and it made them smart. Then, beginning at the corners of Tobit's eyes, Tobiah used both hands to peel off the cataracts. When Tobit saw his son, he threw his arms around him and wept. He exclaimed, I can see you, son, the light of my eyes. Then he said, Blessed be God, and praised be his great name, and blessed be all his holy angels. May his holy name be praised throughout all the ages, because it was he who scourged me, and it is he who has had mercy on me. Behold, I now see my son Tobiah. Then Tobit went back in, rejoicing and praising God with full voice for everything that had happened. Tobiah told his father that the Lord God had granted him a successful journey, that he had brought back the money, and that he had married Raggle's daughter Sarah, who would arrive shortly, for she was approaching the gate of Nineveh. Tobit and Anna rejoiced and went out to the gate of Nineveh to meet their daughter-in-law. When the people of Nineveh saw Tobit walking along briskly, with no one leading him by the hand, they were amazed. Before them all Tobit proclaimed how God had mercifully restored sight to his eyes. When Tobit reached Sarah, the wife of his son Tobiah, he greeted her. Welcome, my daughter. Blessed be your God for bringing you to us, daughter. Blessed is your father, and blessed is my son Tobiah, and blessed are you, daughter. Welcome to your home with blessing and joy. Come in, daughter. That day there was joy for all the Jews who lived in Nineveh. Responsorial Psalm Praise the Lord, my soul. Gospel Mark chapter 12 Verses 35 to 37 As Jesus was teaching in the temple area he said, How do the scribes claim that the Christ is the son of David? David himself, inspired by the Holy Spirit, said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord, so how is he his son? The great crowd heard this with delight. Reflection David himself calls him Lord. The Jews and the scribes who are learned in scriptures have looked forward for the coming of the Messiah. The Christ or the Anointed One would come from the lineage of David, in line with the oracle of Nathan about the Lord raising an offspring after David, 
whose throne would be established forever. Jesus. However, comments that the Christ would not just be the son of David, he would be far greater than David, as David calls him, Lord, referring to the beginning verse of Psalm 110, a royal psalm. As a descendant of David, Jesus can claim to be a son of David, but he is also the son of the Most High, hence the Lord David can call him, my Lord, a divine title. We can have many rulers, our superiors, our unbridled passions, the excessive love of money, our work, etc. It is only the Lord Jesus who can truly set us free. When we recognize that Jesus is our Lord, we invite him to be our king and the master of our sentiments, relationships, and everything we plan and do.